Hi everyone, today in this video I'm teaching you how to make a perfect cup of tea. No, you're not. <laughs> Only kidding. Today we're talking to you about developing our recipe. Um, You've just turned the really loud kettle on. It's not my problem. Um, Hi guys, thank you for uh, tuning in again. Today I'm going to teach you how to make the perfect cup of tea. I knew you were going to say that. This is meant to be a serious channel. I know. Sorry. What we're actually going to be talking to you about today is how we developed our recipe. Now, being students, we were on a campus with 24,000 people. Uh, that's a lot of people to get feedback from and I, I think we probably did our, our best to speak to as, as many, as close to about 24,000 as we possibly could. Still making bars, weren't we, in our halls of residence. So, yeah. we were buying ingredients at the local um, Holland Bar yeah. um, to develop our recipe and then that's when we started taking them out and just standing in front of the sports fields. It was Wednesdays, wasn't it? Yeah. Um, Bucks Wednesdays. <laughs> um, handing out samples and just seeing uh, what people thought about them. So the feedback initially was rubbish, yeah, wasn't it? We've actually, I'll tell you what, cut there because we've got some great photos of the style oh, yeah. diagrams that we did just emphasizing how terrible these bars were. So, uh, Little slide things up. Yeah, we've um, been way harsher. Yeah, we've been way harsher. Yeah, um, and but that's what we needed to hear. The recipe wasn't good enough. Um, there's no point trying to force something or you know eventually sell something that doesn't work. So we took that feedback on board. Some of it, as you saw, was not very helpful. It was just pretty yeah, brutal, constructive. Um, and then yeah, just to started. Uh, we just started trialing different nuts, different seeds. Mm -hmm. So yeah. just the first bars we made. They had peanut butter in it. They did, they had peanut butter, tahini and an almond tahini, milk. Yeah. We'd, we'd heat that up and mix it together with the oats to puff rice and the chia seeds. Yeah. Now the feedback we got from this was it was too grainy. Now we knew the nutritional benefit of these bars, they were great, we'd had them before we played sport, etc. Yeah. It felt great. Not high energy bars of course, but just a slower, slower burner for uh, the whole game. Yeah. Um, again, the too grainy and they didn't actually taste the whole lot according to the consumers. Um, yeah. So. We played around with some of the ingredients, we played around with the bind. Um, I always remember at one point, we were buying jar and jar of this really good for you peanut butter, nothing artificial in. One time we just bought a, um, a peanut butter mill off Amazon so we could make our own <laughs> yeah. in our halls of residence. Made an absolute yeah. racket, the neighbours love does, but um, did the job. Do you remember the blenders as well? Yeah, we, we started like smoking. We had to blend, we, had, we bought blended. this is all on a student budget, I like, made that clear. Um, and we bought a, a 10 or 15 pound blender, I'm not going to say from where, and we used it so much that it started smoking and then eventually it died, so um, we buried that, didn't we actually? It was um, the right thing to do. It was the right thing to do. Yeah, it did, it helped us out big time. Hey, that's a good cup of tea. You want to try some? <laughs> so, so you... Yeah, it's me. Yeah. <laughs> We were talking about our broken blender. Oh yeah, the broken blender. So yeah, after the uh, broken blender incident, um, we decided we needed to refine it a little bit further, didn't we? Yeah. Um, that meant getting rid of a few ingredients, so um, almond milk, tahini yeah. we got rid of, didn't we? Yeah. And then we stumbled upon the bar with peanut butter, and we had oats. Yeah, we used a bit of coconut oil as well. Yeah, we did, that helped with the bite, yeah. because obviously we couldn't use anything like honey, maple syrup, we didn't want to yeah. use anything. We didn't want to use dried fruits, yeah. and you have a separate video coming out about why dried fruit isn't actually that good for you. Exactly, there can be some problems, but we will cross that bridge when we come to it. We use yeah. flax seeds, sunflower seeds, and um, well, other than that, it's completely natural. And well, that caused other problems, didn't it? Exactly. Because that meant that the bars really didn't last long, and I mean, they would only last for about three, four days. So we made them, they'd have to be eaten, and that was that. Now, that bar started to get good feedback, didn't it? It did, yeah, it did. It got, actually, yeah, it got really good feedback, didn't it? So yeah. I just remembered how good the feedback was on that bar. Yeah, um, and that was because we were trialing it up at multiple different sites. Yeah, we were. Um, the um, main one, Southgate, yeah, 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 wasn't yeah. it? Um, so big shout out to them and again another video will explain why we value those guys so much. We were tasting it, it was starting to get better um, and I think we decided at that point that we needed to see whether people would actually buy these things. So you know you can't run a business if people aren't going to buy your product um, no matter how good it is. Um, and it, yeah, on that we had we put three bars in a pack, it was yep. like a craft coffee bag so I don't know. We've got photos of it. We have got photos so check the photos. 
for that. And then also they're less than two grams of sugar. So what we found was that customers were really struggling or you guys were really struggling with um, Parts that were less than one gram of sugar were brilliant on paper, mm. weren't they? Mm. And for some people, they loved it, but other people, aka okay, the majority of people, yeah. um, thought that they weren't very good. And that's when I think we realized that we needed to continue to develop, develop further, yeah, didn't we? That was it. So we're looking about a year and a year ago, wasn't it? Yes. A year ago, we really revamped the recipe. <laughs> <laughs> So guys, thank you for watching my tutorial on how to make the ah tutorial on how to make the perfect cup of tea. Well, I didn't really do a whole lot. You didn't let me have a whole lot of responsibility to do anything. The best. Uh, you know what I said? I'm a good tea. chef. But yeah, thank you guys for watching. See you soon. Bye. Bye. Are you on out your pan? Okay. Three, two. Can you stop the pan? <laughs> 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 Recipe. Um, Okay, we're we don't get the logo, you? We don't want anyone. Just act natural. Okay. Make a cup of tea. <laughs> you can speak whilst he's pouring. Oh, okay, okay. Alright, I should speak. Uh